Kitche, thank you for joining us here today. Thank um, you. Tell us a bit about your show this year. What we is it going to be varied? Your first one was called Notorious CHO. Yes, that that's what the show. Well, Notorious CHO was a show that I, I wrote it here, yeah. and then I took it to um, America, uh -huh. and then it was a huge hit, and I, I made a film out of it, and I, I, I made the uh, album at Carnegie Hall, and it was like this huge, great, great, great thing. Um, and this year. Um, my show is called Show Dependent, and I have, uh, I'm going to do uh, some songs in it, um, mostly stand-up comedy, um, but it's, it's uh, from my album, Show Dependent, which is all comedy music that I made uh, last year, That was, and it was nominated for Grammy. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. That's so fantastic. it's very exciting. So, um, but I, I love it, and so I'll, I'll be doing some songs, but uh, jokes, um, talking a lot about um, relationships, talking a lot about gay rights. Uh, talking a lot about race, talking a lot about um, my experience here, um, sex, um, what else is the show about? Covering it's all grounds. All yeah. grounds. Um, you know, it, it's very, oh, oh talk about, talking about dancing with the stars. Yes, so tell me a bit about that. That must have been, I mean, how was it performing in front of that huge audience? Well, it's a really weird experience, and, you know, I didn't do that show for very long. Um, it, it was like, it, it was really tough to be on it, because I think it's fixed. So they kind of decide who's going to win before everything starts, you know, because they decide like, okay, who's going to have the best human interest story, and then they go with that. And um, but I also don't agree with people saying like people always tell me, oh, you were robbed, you were robbed, and I don't think that's true either because but it was you know, good exposure. well, it's not, yeah, it's good exposure and it's not being robbed. I mean, it, that's like saying somebody broke into my house and left me two hundred thousand huh. dollars. Not robbed. robbed. I know, <laughs> not robbed. Um, but you know what's really weird is now it expanded my audience to include uh, like lots of different types of people, people who watch that show, who right. like me from there, and you know. So, with them, um, Drop Dead Diva. Now that character you play, she's very bitchy. And uh huh. Is it quite fun to play? It's fun. Yeah. Well, I, I love the role. I feel like well, I think the show is really important because the show is really all about different women and the way that sometimes our bodies are valued for a certain for, for a certain look and, and, and that another kind of woman is invisible and it, it's really about honoring all different kinds of beauty and so I really I lo I, I love that show. To me it's a great project to be involved with because it's like I, I finally can like feel good about what we're saying to young women especially about like you should embrace your body and enjoy the beauty that we have because everybody is beautiful. Yeah. Well, you must know about that having worked in TV and so much focus on that. Has that been difficult? Or coming I think, well, coming to terms with it and understanding it, like when I started television, I was always told that I was too overweight and, and that was really crushing because I thought, well, I'm a comedian, so why is that yeah. so important? And why are male comics it, it, you know, why is their um, kind of body type, whatever it is, accepted and women have to be a certain way. And so it was always very tough. Um, but I think now that I'm older and I understand more about how to feel good, like it's more about feeling good, that, that, that's more what I'm about, like, paying attention on. Yeah. And with your Asian American heritage, does that feature in your comedy material? Oh yeah, that, I talk a lot about my my ethnic background and my family, and and you know it, it's funny because people always ask me like, do you think your career would have been different if you were white? And yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. But, um, I wish I could be white. Like sometimes I really think, oh, it would be really relaxing to be white. I wish I could be white to go to like a spa and be white for a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it'd be like a massage. You're really relaxing. And it's so much of who you are. And yeah, but you. it's good. Like in and in stand-up comedy, like perspective and point of view is so important. And so I don't, like I don't know. Like my identity has always really helped me in my career. So I, I don't know if things would have been easier yeah. if I if I was a white man. And this is the first time you've come back to the festival in a decade, is it? So yes, the last time I was here was in 2000. Uh, I think it was 2001. Uh, it was before 9/11, okay. and so the world was a totally different place. And the way that we, um, when I was here last time, I didn't have an email. Wow. I didn't have a phone. Can no you imagine? No, I didn't have. I didn't have a mobile. Uh, I would. I did, and, and a no email. Could you imagine? Like so, people just had to find you. We had like <laughs> smoke signals. Oh. People would call me uh, on the landline. 
oh. in my flat. It That's was amazing. so weird. Yeah, we used to, I don't know how people got along. I, even I lived it and I don't know how yeah. I got along. I had a lot fewer friends. Finally, just remind us where your, where your show's at. Um, I am at uh, the assembly at um, the Dom Palais. The Dom Palais, which is the, the beautiful, beautiful uh, carousel tent in the middle. And I'm there every night at nine. Um, I, is that 21? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't 2100 know. hours. Is that 2100? Yes, I'm at 2100. I, I still, I mean, I'm still, I can't figure that out. I know that I should be, I'm supposed to be good at math. 24 hour clock. I'm, I'm really not 24 very 24 good at it. Or 2100 yeah. hours. So I'm at 9 o'clock. Um, I'm there every night. Okay, perfect. So you have lots of time to go and join everyone for drinks. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Perfect. Well, good luck with your show and thanks for joining us here. Thanks.